Good evening and thanks for being here with us. Robbed, beaten, and left for dead. Tonight, a Southern Kentucky man talks to us for the first time since that horrible ordeal. Derek Cassie is still recovering from serious injuries, but today he was in a Rockcastle County courtroom as the man charged with attacking him, Jason Gambrell, pled guilty. First, a warning you may find some of this video disturbing. Phil Pendleton has our top story at six. Derek Cassie is hardly the man he used to be. Just lucky. That's all I can say is lucky. Lucky to be alive after surviving a beating that police and his family say should have killed him. And today. I uh, just struck him in the head. Okay, who's he? Derek Cassie. Okay, and why did you strike him in the head? Uh, over money and drugs. Oh. Jason Gambrell admitted to the crime. He was charged with attempted murder, but today pleaded guilty to assault in exchange for a recommended 14 year prison sentence. No, I'm just glad it's all over with and lucky to be here. We did learn today that Jason Gambrell and Derek Cassie were co workers. They are both from Pulaski County, but they came here to this abandoned limestone quarry. We also know that Derek Cassie was planning on buying a car, and that's why he had $700 on him that night. Police say Cassie was robbed of that money. It says he has no memory of being at the quarry. I have no idea. I can't even, the only thing I remember is just walking out the doors at work. Other than that, I don't remember anything. Gambrel's mother says the crime came the result of a severe drug problem. If anybody's ever on drugs, they need to get help while they can. Because you never know, they'll mess you up. Because he says he still requires some mental health care from his injuries. In Rockcastle County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Cassie's family says his medical bills are more than $100,000. Today, the judge said Gambrell should pay for that as part of his sentence. 